go down and work on Prop 19 or Prop 74. Do it. Do it for the Jack. Make us legal. Now we're going to have the wonderful Miss Angela and her hemp fashion show. The United States drug policy creates more bloodshed than it prevents. The enforcement of modern American prohibition is one of the most violent and profit-driven forces on the planet. Today's show is in protest of that prohibition, dedicated to the memory of Jack Hare, and meant to artistically emphasize his message that hemp truly can save the world. Thank you so much to all for coming, and thank you for having us. Welcome to the second annual Hemp Stock, Hemp Fashion, and Live Art Show, Hemp for Victory. Our first model, one of the founders of Oregon Green Free, John. Most people know him as Mr. Fix It. He's obviously quite popular with this crowd. <laughs> He's wearing a hemp vest, hemp t-shirt. With him we have David J, OGF as well, volunteer extraordinaire. Our two lovely hemp models, modeling hemp t-shirts from the Hemp Fest Festival in Seattle. And of course, with some hemp stocks. Next up, we have Hybrid. Hybrid also wearing an eco friendly shirt painted with nature's most beautiful pot leaf. Hybrid is one of our cannabis growers, so I know everybody here appreciates the risks that he takes so that we can consume the most beautiful plant on earth, yes? All three of these gentlemen make hash and, and medicine for just thousands of people. Thank you for your volunteering in our show and for your work. Now, how about those pretty girls you all heard about? Pixie and Just Leah, both modeling Herbage Design clothes. Herbage Design, I'm sure you've heard of. They're one of the more popular hemp vendors around here. You can find them at Nomads Crossing. HerbageDesign.com. They're on Facebook, they're on MySpace. Hit them up. Scott Gordon at Herbage Design. He's right back there. The green flag. Thank you, ladies, so much. Look at those beautiful totes. Everything they have hemp, hemp. It's comfy, it's beautiful, and it's friendly for the environment. So, the next group of models, these girls are all also wearing hemp, all hand painted. All these costumes are, paint, are painted with a pot leaf. All of them are made of hemp. Many of these outfits were made by the models today within a couple of hours, just for fun. Yeah, they're so cute, right? Now there's that hemp silk. Everybody talks about the hemp silk because it's beautiful, is it not? And, and even something as beautiful as hemp silk or a pretty girl looks better with a pot leaf painted on it. Here we have Donna, Susan, Katie Jane, Casey, Michaela, Valicia, and Brynn. Beautiful ladies in hemp. All of these ladies consume cannabis and they are not afraid to stand on a stage and tell everyone that that's what they do. And that is just the basic social responsibility that I believe that us as cannabis users have. So I appreciate all of your bravery. Next up is Pam. You might remember her from last year. She was the goddess of survival then. This year, she's still surviving, but looking better than ever. After her double mastectomy and kicking cancer in the balls, she's back wearing 100% hemp. She's been featured in a number of her local newspapers as an advocate and a patient. This is the kind of advocacy and bravery that I'm talking about. This is what you as cannabis users need to be looking up to as the role models. 
people who are not afraid to tell their family, their friends, the local radio, the local newspaper, their boss, their former employer, their high school friends. We're from a small town, so when you tell one person, you tell everybody. And, and I'll tell you, coming out of the cannabis closet is freeing, and that's what Pam and I have done. And I hope that all of you can kind of do the same sort of thing. Thank you, Pam. Vashti, representing one of the most discriminated against demographic of cannabis users, mothers who use. Vashti is pregnant right now, and like most pregnant women, she knows that cannabis is a healthier alternative to some of the things that the doctors might suggest. The hemp silk she wears on her chest is, is hemp, and they're uh, hand painted with pot leaves, and as you can see, it's a girl. Thank you, Vashti. We've had a technical difficulty and we need to clarify something. The little girls that were on stage, they don't use cannabis. They're supporting their parents' medicinal use. They were last minute models. Forgot to write that in. I'm hoping you all just understood that. It kind of goes without saying. But anyhow. All right, they had me hit that hash right before I hit the stage. <laughs> I need my note card. Jesus. Okay, here. Jack's book. Super important book. You can buy it over there at the Jack Carer booth. Jack's book really helped me kind of understand the connection between the war on drugs, the war on the economy, the war on our environment, the war on terror. All of our foreign policy, everything that is wrong with our government, whether they dub it a war for fun or for political reasons or because it's actually a war or because they're blowing people up even though it's not a war, regardless... We know that all war brings is bloodshed. So we also know that, as Jack said, cannabis is a solution to all of these problems. So as our government hides behind the disguise of peace and spreading democracy, you and I know that the only thing that comes from war is bloodshed. And if you can do anything to stop that kind of bloodshed and just looking behind the disguise that they use with peace and democracy. I hope that you'll see what I see. Unjust. What's the solution to this? Cannabis. You've heard of the tree of life? You've heard of the lady that picked that apple? They say an apple a day, but... <laughs> now whether it's the economy or your body or your mind that needs to be healed, the cannabis is by far the most healing plant, and some people believe it is the tree of life. And since it does make our lives so much better, I think, why not? Maybe it is. Everybody's favorite time of year is the harvest. Next up, we have our goddess of harvest. After all the war and destruction and the talk of bloodshed, we have to have something happy, and harvest is the happiest thing around. Demeter's moods control the atmosphere, and so she controls the harvest, so remember to be nice. Along with the goddess of harvest, we have the goddess of spring, also dressed entirely in hemp, and supporting the industrial use of hemp is lotus. All of our models are volunteers, and I'd like to thank all of them all of them, except for the young ones, use cannabis. And, and the ability to come on stage and say, that's what you do, is really important. And none of them get paid. They literally just let me paint them for fun, for no real good reason. And that's hemp fashion and live art. I hope to see you all again next year. And please remember, 